Hi everybody. While pasta, wine, and the Vatican are Italy's most well-known landmarks, the country's performance automobiles remain unsold in the minds of car enthusiasts like us. One such thoroughbred is the Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio 2023. It makes 505 horsepower from a 2.9-liter twin-turbo V6, has excellent handling, and has stunning sheet metal that stands out no matter what color it is painted on. Sadly, it wouldn't be an Alpha if it didn't have a rocky track record of reliability, as we discovered when we drove one for a long-term, 40,000-mile test. However, the Julia's performance and outgoing personality are worth any service issues for ardent drivers. The Julia QF can go wheel-to-wheel -wheel with any of the fun-to-drive sports sedans with better reputations, such as the BMW M3, Cadillac CT4V Blackwing, and Mercedes-Benz C63, but it always feels fully alive and vibrant, no matter what kind of road you're on or how fast you go. What happens in 2023? For the 2023 model year, neither the design nor the mechanicals of the high-performance Quadrifoglio Giulia sedan are changing. The Giulia already has desirable features like in-dash navigation, blind spot monitoring, heated front seats, front and rear parking sensors, leather upholstery, and a 15-speaker Harman slash Kardon audio system, so we wouldn't add much to its equipment list. The Active Assist Plus package, which includes lane keeping assist, a driver attention monitor, and Alpha's adaptive cruise control system with a lane centering feature, is recommended if you're a fan of driver assistance systems though we can see why you might not like them in a car like this. However, there is no option for all-wheel drive, one of the reasons the QF is so enjoyable to drive is that it is exclusively a sedan with rear-wheel drive. The Giulia Quadrifoglio is a joy to drive because it only has rear-wheel drive and has a rhapsodic twin-turbo 2.9-liter V6 and an 8-speed automatic transmission that has been precisely calibrated. The Ferrari-derived Italian engine generates 505 horsepower, 443 pound-feet of torque, and a spine-tingling sound that puts the majority of rivals to shame. It's a shame that there isn't a manual transmission. We are also sorry to report that our long-term vehicle has several mechanical issues, proving that Alfa Romeo lives up to its reputation for unreliability. When in top gear and cruising at low revs, the Julius engine maintains its excitement. When the throttle is applied below 3000 rpm, there is only a slight hesitation before the turbos start to spool up, resulting in a whirlwind of acceleration and a ripping exhaust note. In the sportier drive modes, the 8-speed automatic transmission is decisive and quick to change gears, and the flexible chassis of the Giulia is a willing partner in wild adventures. With perfect damping and notable isolation from harsh impacts, the Alpha excels on the track and in everyday driving. The ride quality is not affected by the sportier driving modes either. The sensational steering follows next, the steering wheel with its thin rim feels like something out of a bygone era because it requires little effort, gives clear feedback, and responds in a pleasingly quick way. The Quadrifoglio stands out from its main rivals and outperformed the M3 in a comparison test thanks to the seamless combination of these characteristics. EPA ratings for the Giulia QF and its super sedan rivals are almost identical, 
with the Alpha getting 17 mpg in the city and 25 mpg on the highway. On our 75 miles per hour fuel economy route, the version we tested outperformed its highway estimate by 1 mpg. Visit the EPA's website to learn more about the Giulia Quadrifoglio's fuel economy. And cargo the Giulia's interior features faux suede accents and leather surfaces. The appealing front seats are comfortable without being constrictive. There are two racing focused Recaro buckets available, but they lack the standard set's power adjustments and heating elements. The standard Julia keeps the swooping dashboard and switch gear, but the Quadrifoglio adds a lot of carbon fiber trim. Four carry-on suitcases would fit in the QF's trunk, which is typical for this class. The front row storage is slightly enhanced by the moderately sized center console. To store their belongings, Backseat passengers can only use the small door pockets and cargo net on the backs of the front seats. Connectivity and infotainment The 8.8-inch infotainment display in the dash can be operated using a rotary knob on the center console or by touching it. The user interface can be changed and is easy to use, but the driver may have trouble hitting the smaller icons on the screen when the car is moving. Nevertheless, the Alpha system has a lot of features, includes navigation, and integrates Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Standard is also a Harman slash Cardin sound system Thank with you 15 for watching. speakers. Leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of the video. We'll see you in the next one.